What is going on guys welcome back to another video. I hope you're having an amazing day to this video where we're taking a look at again how to install Android 11 Beta 2 for your Redmi Note 5 Pro or the wired. So again it works for the global Redmi Note 5 or the Chinese Redmi Note 5 but if you're wondering Devang haven't you already made this video like yesterday? Well yes my pre-recording habits have came to my own bad and I actually knew that this specific developer was working on a specific port of Android 11 just like the Redmi Note 7 Pro's installation but I still showed you guys the GSI because I felt that was much more fast and even with that you won't be facing any kind of more issues but oh here the developer has made so many changes and adjustments to this android 11 beta 2 port like this is just a deal breaker you can actually use this as a daily driver like it has pretty much a completely fixed camera and even volti like volti on android 11 which is pixel ported like that's just amazing like the elements that he has added and fixed in this build is just uh, like amazing work by the speedo but again over here as you can see the home screen and everything just looks the same like the performance is pretty much the same to the pixel experience vendor this is a panadroid vendor but everything is just same and the functionality is far more better than what i showed you guys previously so again over here i actually pre-recorded that video and currently i'm just not feeling motivated to make videos anymore so again if you just appreciate press the subscribe button we are so close to 100k i don't know why my channel is just stuck but again press the bell icon right over there that helps too but again as you can see going through everything quick setting panel and stuff just works fine again you have the music player right over here with the newer toggles like the screen record and everything but the developer has also added a performance profile so for example you can adjust for battery gaming extreme battery so if you are just consuming media from mx player or youtube it would help or balance for everything or just performance for gaming so again that's pretty good CTS is now just completely fixed. It still needs magic. So again, this build can be rooted and your banking apps just completely work fine. So again, that's just amazing to have it on a 2018 budget phone. On an Android version, that's not even released like almost for two months from now. But directly going to the settings app, you have Fusion Stable settings as additional features and it does get an icon. So it looks much more cleaner than before. So scrolling down, pretty much everything is just the same. Battery is much more optimized than before. And if you go to the display, additional settings now you have double tap to wake which now completely just works as you can see even the fingerprint scanner on godix just works fine as you can see mine is godix and opened pretty quick but if you just go to lock screen and always show time you also have always on display yep that one works completely fine so again just amazing even if you turn this off ambient display just works normally so i just turn that off directly because we do have a LCD so coming back if you go to the sound no setting change over here but you do get live caption and stuff as it's a pixel 2 and the ACC sound codec is now completely fixed even with FM radio so again the developer has gone beyond with it so scrolling down privacy location everything just works fine even with the security you do have Godix fingerprint scanner as I told you guys so that's big so scrolling down digital well-being everything has been already reviewed by me so really going to the Xiaomi parts, you do have haptic feedback for the vibration motor. So that's again great. You have display calibration. So again, Xiaomi sold Redmi Note 5 with pretty much like four different displays. So you can just completely calibrate it right over here. And I have actually adjusted the saturation and contrast a bit. So again, it literally looks like an AMOLED screen. Like the blues are so deep, even with the blacks, it's just completely dark matching to the body panel. Then again, scrolling down, you have the thermal settings. Again, just amazing. You have enable flip cover wake up. I didn't even knew Wired had that, but again, apparently it works. You also have the MI sound enhancer right over here. So again, that helps. With now the ACC sound codec, it will just run amazing as your official MI 12. And if you go to the system, pretty much everything is just the same. You do have rules from Android 11. Then again, all the gestures and everything are very optimized. Again, as you can see, there are a lot of options right over here. But coming back, going to the about phone section, all the security patches have been updated like the Google Play security patch and even the system update. So for example, it's running July 5, the latest and greatest. And then let's just see how to install it. So again, installation is very easy right over here. It's a pretty old phone. You can find thousands of videos on how you can unlock the bootloader and install a custom TWRP recovery. Once that is done, you have to just go to the TWRP recovery and the installation is far more simpler than before. So again, hold down your power and volume up at the same time. And again, sorry if I'm going fast, but I have to actually just make this video as small as possible. Now, once you're into the TWRP recovery, the UI might look a bit different on yours, but pretty much the functionality is just the same. So you have to just go to wipe and once wipe, dial we cache system vendor and data. Swipe to wipe. And if you get any kind of errors right over here, or if you just go to the install and pretty much there's just nothing right over here, then you have to just completely format your data cause the Pi vendor 
kind of bit issues with the decryption. That's what Xiaomi did when upgraded from Oreo to Pi. So you have to just type in yes over here and hit enter. But if you are coming from a custom ROM or anything, it's just pretty much the same. So go to install, search for the ROM, right over here, R beta 2 by speedo, add more zips and select the patch. Now, until I upload this video, the patch would be at 1.3. I'm just flashing 1.2 because it's not yet done. But the 1.3 does actually announce a much more optimization to the Volti. Again, as I said, the audio and the flash will take a bit of a time. And the Android 11 beta 2 has been successfully flashed. So again, you can just swipe to unlock right over here and you can reboot it right away. But I do actually recommend rooting the Android 11 if you want to use the banking apps so that the CTS is completely patched. So right over here download i have my magics this is the alpha version which can also root android 11 which is just amazing reboot system there's the new boot logo and the google logo should be up in a few seconds and the phone is back up in like two minutes which is just like amazing booting time so again let's just unlock and i'm already connected to the wi-fi and then there are practically no fixes and everything just remaining. The play services and the camera just works fine out of the box. But in order to use the root and banking apps, you will need the magics. Now, if the magics is just not there since the first boot, you can of course download the APK separately or I will just leave a link in the description for it. But once you open it, in order to check if it's installed, you have to just go over here. If it's not NA, it shows a random number to the latest. That means it's successfully installed. So in order to work the banking apps, you have to just go to settings and scroll down till you find magics hide just enable that and come back just go here safety net there you go success our banking apps now finally work completely so yeah guys that's pretty much it on how you can install android 11 beta 2 completely stable for daily usage and thanks for watching see you in the next one peace